In 2015, a new, bold education agenda was adopted. Through the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development and the Education 2030 Framework for Action, the international community agreed to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all. Education has the potential to accelerate progress towards the achievement of all 17 Sustainable Development Goals. I think first important that we recognize that the discussion that formed and shaped um, the 17 goals um, really saw in education as an integral part of this. So it is reflected in a goal, but it's reflected across other goals on health, on jobs, on um, the environment, the economy, um, poverty. It's basically integral to the whole agenda. The world is a very, very complex world now, and it's a very dynamic world, and it is changing constantly. So there is not uh, a simple solution to educational problems. Everything about education has changed. In 2012, UNESCO's Director General Irina Bokova established a senior experts group with the mandate to rethink education in a changing world. Their work is based on previous landmark UNESCO publications, which established the concepts of lifelong education and the four pillars of learning learning to do, learning to know, learning to be, and learning to live together. After three years of work, the group produced Rethinking Education Towards a Global Common Good. It is UNESCO's call to reflect and dialogue. Years ago, UNESCO published two reports. 1970s, we published a fourth report. And the 1990s, we published what uh, we call the Law Report. Now, after some 20 years of the, the Law Report, we are in a new phase of the world. Now, today, uh, we are facing many challenges for sustainable development, for economic development, and also for peace. لم يكن الموضوع جديد علي ولكن الطرح كان جديد هو كيف علينا قراءة المسائل المتصلة بالتربية بعد التحولات الكبرى اللي حصلت مع بداية القرن الواحد والعشرين فكان المطلوب منا أنه نحن نعيد قراءة تقرير جاك دولو Each individual on this planet should have the opportunity to learn to know, to learn to do, uh, to learn to be and uh, to learn, you know, to, to live together. Uh, and we wanted to place that uh, at the forefront, as I said, of rethinking education. Rethinking education is about principles of respect for life and human dignity, equal rights and social justice, respect for cultural diversity, international solidarity and shared responsibility. We must recognize the diversity of worldviews while reaffirming a common core of universal values. The world is beginning to uh, develop educational policies uh, which focuses on uh, the technical subjects. It's very important to produce these instrumental skills because a complex and modern economy requires them. But for complex societies, we need investment in uh, the humanities and social sciences. We need investment in understanding how human beings live and how they exchange and how do the communities become sustainable. Now people that are diverse in cultures and in outlooks toward uh, the problems of the world are living together, are uh, together in schools, together in factories, together in churches, together in cities. And they have to learn to live together even though they think differently and they have different approaches to the possible solutions of the world. And education has to deal with this. It has to prepare people to tolerate and to be able to appreciate diversity as something that uh, makes us... っていうのが何かっていうのが一つあってね。で、その能力は一般的にその問題を解決する能力と批判的な思考力とコミュニケーション能力っていう3つだと思われてるんですね。でもその3つの能力っていうのはま、相手と勝負をして勝つ能力は
で東洋はそれだけではなくて特に日本では調和をするとハーモナイズをするっていう能力を非常に大事にしてきたんで世界でその人々の能力とか学力を考えるときにねそういうその調和力っていうようなものをもう少しね考えて社会全体のこう融和をした発展っていうのを考えていってほしいなっていう気がいたしました。Education alone cannot hope to solve all development challenges, but a humanistic and holistic approach to education can and should contribute to a renewed development model. With a concept of holistic approach of education, we promote uh, in this uh, new SDGs a lifelong learning concept. So now the new goal is uh, lifelong learning. We're talking about uh, inclusion. Talk, talk about the equitable access to education and also talk about the quality of education. We wanted to emphasize that, that education was essentially about、uh, human dignity and, and human、uh, welfare and well being. That was fundamentally our idea of a、uh, humanistic vision of education. L'éducation n'est pas une activité comme une autre, c'est un art. C'est l'art absolu de la transmission du savoir, de la transmission du désir, de la transmission du plaisir. Et de faire en sorte que chacun d'entre nous, à travers l'éducation qu'il reçoit, bah, développe cette dimension citoyenne qui est、euh, essentielle pour l'avenir d'une humanité en partage. The increase in the volume of knowledge available means that learning to learn has never been as important as it is today. This is why teachers and educators' roles are evolving, guiding and enabling people from early childhood. And throughout their lives, to develop in the expanding maze of knowledge. Yes, we have information, but we don't have knowledge. So that information still needs to be processed into knowledge, and the teacher has a role to facilitate the processing of that information into knowledge. كيف أن يكون هناك إعادة اعتبار لدور المعلم؟ بالنظر إلى هذه التحولات وكيف يتحول المعلم إلى داعم ومرشد إلى حد ما للطالب في عمليات ليس فقط اكتساب المعارف ولكن جودة التفكير جودة نحن صلتنا الضوء كذلك على موضوع التربية على المواطنة وعلى القيم التي هي الأساس المتين لاستقرار المجتمعات الحديثة ولإرساء السلام بالعالم. نحن نعرف أن منظمة اليونسكو معنية مباشرة بإرساء السلام، ولكن السلام الثقافي لأنه هو أساس كل شيء. فقبل أن تقع الحروب وقبل أن يتطور تتطور السلوكيات الاجتماعية إلى التطرف والعنصرية والبغضاء والكراهية والعنف. لانسينيمان سوبيريور ها بور فوكاسيون نون سولمان ها برودوير دي سافوار Qui permettent l'innovation, le développement économique, le développement culturel, etc., mais aussi à former les enseignants. Et de plus en plus, la mission de l'enseignement supérieur, c'est celle de former les maîtres, les maîtres d'école, du primaire jusqu'au supérieur. The role of teachers continues to evolve in the digital age. Information and communication technologies have become a vital tool for teachers to use in the classroom. So they are a vital tool for supporting teachers. Uh, in order for them to teach effectively, but that, that also, looking at it from the other side, supports effective learning for students. But I must underline one important fact: that digital technologies do not replace teachers. Systems of governance for the delivery of education are becoming more complex. With the blurring of boundaries between public and private, we need to rethink the principles that guide governance. When we spoke to to governance、um, in the overall agenda, and we focused on education, it really was about people's rights、um, and beyond the right to education for everyone, especially girls.、Um, it was then, of course, about the institutions that would provide the basis for serving on those rights. How we engage with business, with civil society, within government, some outside of government. It is the responsibility of the state, of the public authorities, to provide education for all its citizens. 
The principle of education as a public good is under strain. Education and knowledge should be considered global common goods. The creation of knowledge, its control, acquisition, validation, and use are common to all people as a collective social endeavor. La donnée essentielle aujourd'hui de cette mondialisation numérique, c'est que les savoirs vont être disponibles pour tous, partout et à tout moment. Donc ils vont se définir, et ils se définissent déjà, comme un bien commun universel qu'il va nous falloir partager, mais aussi acquérir de manière intelligente, de manière critique, de manière cohérente. Not that education comes for a quick fix because there isn't one. It has to be done on a day to day, day in day out, where everyone, um, as you are being born uh, into early child care and to primary and secondary and tertiary, until you get the skill sets you need for the aspirations you want to achieve. This report wasn't about a blueprint of technical aspects of education. It was about reaffirming uh, some fundamental basic and basic principles uh, and uh, posing them as questions and to say to people, do you agree You know that, that these are the important issues uh, and that this is what education should be about? How can education be more inclusive and equitable? How can education be more relevant to the lives and aspirations of all? And how can education be a global common good, a shared responsibility? These questions call for collective dialogue. Let us engage in rethinking education together.